Hello, welcome back to Chevy Chase Farm. I appreciate you watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and do that. I'd appreciate it. I'm actually putting the video together and realized that I have lost the first part of the video. So jumped out of the house real quick. I'm sitting here in the um, chicken brooder. A few more days, not long. This thing will be filled up with baby chicks. But anyway, let me give a context of this video. We had a uh, new set of lambs, another set of twins, and the mama rejected one of the babies. It was about three times the smaller than the other twin. It was laying in the mud when I found it in the morning. Um, so that's kind of where the video picks up from. Spoiler alert, the baby's doing great. It's just very little, but it's going to be fine. She, she's pretty hungry, or she, I think it's a she. Let's go ahead and try to get this colostrum <clears throat> along mixed in with some milk replacer. See if we can get her to figure out how to use this. Oh, there you go. Not Definitely not the same and as nearly as good as mama, but Getting her to this point is pretty favorable. The mama didn't really even clean her off. She was just laying there. Um, the mama and the other lamb, which is much bigger than her, were um, off on the other side of the little area they were in. So let's see if we can clean her up. If we can't get this stuff off of her. <clears throat> I've got her washed off here. Let me get her dried off and We'll see how this goes. Here's the mama, but that's the other lamb. That's the one that's doing pretty good. And it's a, it's a good sized lamb, doing fine. I'm not sure why she abandoned the other one. After cleaning off the little one, she was definitely hadn't been licked at all. She was covered in afterbirth and mucus. Um, not really sure what happened. Definitely, Half again as big as the other one. Hello, checks. How much money are you costing me today? If you watched the last vlog last week, you will remember I said that I was expecting um, the ewes, the remaining ewes to start lambing this week. Well, uh, we'll get a close up here in a second. This little pair of twins right there, they lambed yesterday. And then you just saw the one the two that were lambed overnight last night. And I expect I have at least one to two more that will go this week. There's the new ones. And, and right beside them, in between them, there's a the little one. And there's three, uh, let's see, there, there, and the one that just went by. There's three that are two months old. It's amazing the difference. So here's where we're at with the baby lamb. We're about 36 hours in or so, almost maybe day two. She's doing good. Yeah, that is a diaper. Feels like back when we had a newborn, doesn't it, Mama? Yes, maybe more frequent. Wanted to show a little more detail what it is I'm feeding this baby lamb. So I'm using this Mana Pro. It's lamb milk replacer. It's got some probiotics in it. Um, I did start out for the first two days with this Dervet Lamb and Kid Colostrum Powder. This is the most important thing that any type of livestock gets when they're born. They generally will obviously get that from their mother, but this is what's going to keep them healthy and avoid various kinds of diseases. So you want to make sure that you absolutely get colostrum 
in a perfect world, you would have some colostrum on hand from an actual uh, sheep or a ewe in the refrigerator. I don't have that, so I bought this. So I'm putting one spoonful of this along with a half a cup of this into uh, about a half a pint of water. I'm just putting in this little milk bottle here where I can shake it. Got a little nipple here. You just simply uh, cut the tip here a little bit. And this is what she's drinking from. Other than being very small, she's actually really healthy and doing fine. She's out here today. Try to get her out and get her a lot of exercise as she starts moving around. So you can see she's just around really good. Running fine. Ultimately, I think she's going to be all right. The goal here is to get her onto some solid food as quickly as possible. She should start gaining about a half a pound a day. It would be my goal. Get her up big enough to where she could spend more time with the flock. She's a flock animal, a herd animal, so I really need to get her back in with the flock. And then we'll continue to feed her. We'll probably have to feed her for about the next at least a month. We'll start trying to get her on some feed here soon, trying to get her weaned off that, uh, put weight on her, and then get her going. I hope everyone had a great week, and I appreciate your support in the farm. You can always find out more at www.cubbychasefarm.com. Have a great week.